Oh boy, there she is. Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome back to the Cobra Built YouTube channel. Me and Ripley have a very exciting video to bring to you guys today. And that is, we are helping a friend of ours named Brett. You might have, uh, you might have seen that video of me and him. actually going to be getting rid of his 2016 Mustang GT that he has for a 2022 Mustang GT. We have all been peer pressuring him into uh, getting rid of the manual and uh, getting into that 10R80 10 speed life. This car kept getting pushed back on the build date and when it was going to be built and we didn't think that this car was going to be coming in until maybe even July. It just kept getting pushed back that much. He put the order in in December. So it's been a hot minute. This car is a very well optioned car and we will be doing a review on it. But today is just going to be a taking delivery video and I hope you guys like this content. I'm very excited on bringing you guys this video. But first, I gotta get home and take a shower because I am probably, as you guys can tell, I am filthy. Put in a good days of work and uh, you know, gotta uh, got to support the car hobby. But Brett's right behind us and uh, he's gonna follow us to the house so that uh, I can just hop in with him and uh, we can go. So saying goodbye to the 2016 Mustang and hello to the 2022 Mustang. It's a very exciting day for him and uh, I'm beyond happy for him. But I will catch up with him and uh, we might do uh, one last burnout in the good old 2016 to uh, send her off. So let me get home without crashing and uh, we'll hop in with Brett and uh, we'll head off to the races. And on second thought, we are uh, gonna meet him at the gas station up the street from me because uh, as you can see, I live on gravel and uh, that is not ideal for a brand new car. <laughs> Aw, shit, it's the day. I'm happy for you, bud. What day is it? Oh, no, I don't give a goddamn about the date. I want to know what we're doing. Oh. What are we doing? We're going to go pick up a new fucking car. Yes, we are trading in the old uh, 2016, and me and Brett kind of uh, spec this car out in uh, quite the quite the ordeal. It's got pretty much every option, and uh, it's got a special color that uh, you guys probably read in the title. <laughs> but while Brett is in the gas station getting something to drink, uh, you know, we might coerce him into... Uh, doing a little burnout before uh before we trade in but yes he is going to uh he is going to be trading in the manual for uh for an automatic and uh he wants to be about that uh 10 speed life so uh we'll uh we'll see what that life's all about uh when we go pick it up it's gonna be a bittersweet goodbye but uh on the bigger and better things look at this dude wa oh look at this dude walking towards it's like he owns the place what does he even got risk all right mr sir what what are you most excited about for said mustang definitely the color and the recaros i guess also I, the 10 speed. i convinced him to get the recaros because honestly guys the like the car we're sitting in right now has the heated and cooled seats and to be honest i mean you don't really use them as much as you would think i know some people are like oh like i wouldn't get a car without them eh. I, like i said in my opinion, Recaros give the car curb appeal so that when you walk up to the car, you're like, damn, that car's got the gosh darn Recaros. I, you know, it's just something to talk about. It's a talking piece. You don't really use the heated and cooled seats, you know, as much as one would think. Uh, they are nice from time to time, but they're not, you know, they're not Brett's desired seat. Obviously, he went with the Recaros. And this car is mischievous purple, so uh, we'll get some good shots of that when we pull up. And it's a great day to take delivery of a car. It's nice and sunny out as the sun just went behind the cloud. But uh, you're giving up the, the manual. Uh, a lot of people are going to give you crap about that. Why? Why would Why would you do such a thing? It's sacrilege, Brett. Uh, ten speeds are God tier, baby. They are. They are the almighty God tier. <laughs> So we're gonna go, uh, it's about an hour drive for us. Uh, once we pull up, we'll uh, do a quick little cinematic and uh, we'll do a take and delivery. Oh, oh God, gotta get out for the burnout. <laughs> do it up. <laughs> that sucked. You suck. 
You suck. Well, these tires suck. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, blame, blame the tires. Blame the tires. But we'll see you guys at the dealership. We're almost there. How's it going, man? Well, what's up? Your Mustang parked on the other side. On the other side. Okay. Um, I have a little sign. It's yours. It's you can't miss it. Okay. And awesome. I do apologize again about everything. Dude. You're all right. You're all right. Congratulations. Man. Yeah. Thank you. Oh boy, we have arrived. And where is it? Where is it? Oh boy. There she is. I gotta see the car before he does. <laughs> you gonna park. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh, this is it. Ooh, you can really see that purple. Wow. 2022 mischievous purple. What, uh, what a great color. So, it, you know, it might look a little black in person, but, uh, or in camera, but, uh, as you guys can see, that, uh, that's got some flake to it. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my God. I'm, I'm happy for my boy. That's, uh, this is a big move for him. And, uh, you can even kind of see it right there. You can kind of see the purple and blue. Dude, this car is freaking sick. Yeah, yeah dude. Look at this thing. Give me a high five with all that crap in your hands. Oh yeah. Oh dude. This thing is tits. Was it worth the wait, Brett? No, it was always worth the wait. Always worth the wait. And look at them Recaros, dude. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Brett ordered this car all, you know, online through the dealer or whatever. It, uh, it was a long wait since December and uh, it's now June, but uh, definitely worth the wait. And he specced this car out to his liking. So it is 100% Brett. But let me get you guys some window sticker action. This car uh, was $57,000 and uh, it's pretty much got every option. It's got the active exhaust, you know, it's got uh, the big screen, 10 speed. It even has the performance package. So it's got the performance pack wheels and uh, the Brembos. And yeah, dude, this car is just awesome. Smells like a brand new car. Let me try to get you guys, uh, you know, a little, uh, you know, good uh, angle here of uh, the color. I mean, it's, dude, this color in person, Brett, this color is awesome, dude. I'm super jealous. It's got the digital dash, and since it's a performance pack, it's got the performance pack gauges. What are your thoughts on your brand new pimped ride, buddy? Yeah, I love it. You love it? Love it. <laughs> Can't wait for the ride home. You gonna just do a big old burnout on the way home? Definitely not. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> But Brett's got to sign some uh, paperwork, and uh, as soon as he does, we'll uh, get the very first startup of Brett's new ride. While Brett uh, signs the paperwork before we get a cold start, things only got 19 miles. She's a she is a brand new car, buddy. Definitely is. And we definitely got to get your uh, cluster set up as uh, the color purple, because oh, yeah. uh, you know. It's mischievous purple, so uh, gotta match the gauges with the car, of course. Dude, this car is sick. It's got the freaking brushed aluminum dash. It, dude, it's 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 a super cool car, dude. It's it's definitely cool to uh, build your own car and have it show up. You know, it's not just one that was sitting on the dealer a lot, and uh, it's hopefully something I could do one day, but uh, until then, I'm gonna live through Brett. See, the nice thing about uh, the 10 speed is uh, you can re remote start this bish. Oh. <laughs> and you guys can really see that purple right now. You can really see it in the corner panel. And it, uh, <laughs> dude, it's, I'll say it time and time again. It's, it's a very nice car, very nice color. Well worth the wait. Old boy's gonna move it back into uh, final its final resting place. Let's uh, let's get one last start up. Oh boy, bittersweet goodbye, but on the bigger and better things. Oh, yeah. And we do our one final goodbye. Oh my God, who was sitting in this? Oh, I gotta move it back. Has it sank in yet? No, not sinking in yet. Oh, uh, first, first matter of business, got to uh, get that AC going because uh, it is. Uh, it only says 72. It's definitely uh, a little warmer. Definitely a little warmer. <laughs> oh, 
got her in track mode, but we're uh, we're not on a track. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure it says you gotta be on a track, Brett. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? He says. First drive. Oh, you have it in sport mode. You did have it in sport mode. Pulling out and uh, goodbye, 2016. It's been real. It's been fun. I would say it was real fun. You know, I gotta say, when you sit them, when you sit like the 15 and 17 and the 18s and up next to each other, it makes you realize how, I'm not gonna say dated the 15 and 17s are, but as obviously time goes on, you can, uh, you definitely feel the age and see the age. Oh, pulling out of the dealership. Oh, there's that 10 speed. Shift, shift, shift. <laughs> this is a cool little street though. Uh, you see all of the flags on each each pole. That, uh, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, that's something you don't really see every day, uh, especially here in Iowa. So how does it feel to go on Ford's website, spec out a car and everything like that and have it show up? Six months, you know, that's a late, that's a little late, but nonetheless, how does it feel to have this car be yours and something that you ordered yourself? Feels amazing. Feels Especially amazing. Especially building it to my specific specs that I want. It's not one that was just sitting on a lot that, you know, you, you know, you wish life. it had this option, you wish it didn't have this option. Oh yeah, look at this yeah. thing. You can, uh, it's kind of hard to get it on camera, but uh, in person, this color is awesome. I mean, it, one second it's blue, one second it's purple. It's kind of like Mr. Crow, but not to that far of an extent. It, uh, it's a super good color. But what do you do uh, when you buy a brand new car? You go to Dairy Queen and then uh, you eat ice cream in it, of course, and make a mess. But we are on our way back and uh, we will get uh, some people's reactions and uh, see what people think of uh, the mischievous purple moose stang. If you guys aren't doing anything, this coming Saturday, June 11th, it is Iowa Mustangs Unstabled Invasion, which there is supposed to be over a thousand cars. So uh, that's gonna be very fun. I'll have the Cobra out there. Brett will have the mischievous purple car out there as well. So if you are anywhere near Iowa or you know in the Midwest, it's I would definitely say one of the bigger Mustangs events of the Midwest for sure. Please feel free to stop on by and if you see us, say hello. So we ended up just getting back, uh, back in the town, but uh, Brett here has agreed to uh, Give her a little bit of sauce right quick. Damn, sir, how does that feel? It feels great. It feels great. Felt really good from uh, from the passenger seat of my best friend's ride, but we're gonna go uh, clean this thing up and uh, make it presentable so that uh, the people can see it and uh, call it black when it's not black. It's mischievous, gosh darn purple. Before we go meet up with the boys, I want to pull up underneath uh, the lights. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, uh, it's definitely purple. And it's even more purple in person. And the nice thing is, it's like a purple and blue. It still needs to get washed because, uh, you know, transport and everything like that. But uh, dude, this, this is a, a very sick color. Uh, are you are you glad that you waited for this color? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very, uh, very nice. And I will definitely say, I've looked high and low for pictures of this car, like color. And uh, I would say that you're probably one of the first, it seems like, to uh, have this color. And if you build this car on Ford's website, it says late availability. So, uh, yeah, I know there's obviously some people that have gotten it, but uh, yeah. As you guys can see, it's uh, <laughs> it's very purple at night uh, under LED lights, obviously. But uh, during the day, it can be tricky. You know, it's kind of hard to catch that purple and blue, but uh, under lights like this, it's definitely hands down a very beautiful color. But let's go meet up with the boys and get their opinion. So we're here with the boys. And what are your, this is Billy, that's Mason. 
Hi. and that's Cody. What are your guys' uh, opinions on ye olde color? Dude, it's one of the coolest colors I've ever seen since it's Mystichrome. It's really yeah? Cool it's honestly yeah. right up there with Mystichrome. It's, yeah. it's the coolest. And you guys can kind of see, like under the light, you can see like the dark purple, but uh, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a color to see in person. It's kind of hard to get it on camera. Like I said, you guys can sort of kind of see it. If you get right up on it, you can definitely tell the purple, but uh, it's definitely a, a very, very unique color that uh, Brett is hoping that uh, it's gonna be a one year only color so that it can be a, a rare color. Hopefully. They're gonna make it for five years and uh, it's gonna be one of 100,000. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you could please drop a big old like, that greatly helps out my channel and please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Take care, guys, and have an awesome day.